Hello friends, welcome to your feel good flow. Today's theme of our practice is called your karma yoga. And that is because we're going to be really diving deeper into our hearts and finding this self love component through our own practice with hopes that through cultivating this peacefulness and self loving energy from within, we can then transfer it out into the world, into our everyday actions. Now, if you're part of the 14-day yoga journey series, welcome to your class nine. If you're just joining us today, welcome. I'm excited to flow with you. Today's practice, like I said, is going to be all about just breathing, moving. We're going to really focus on the lower body and leave you feeling amazing. So if you're ready to get started, grab your mat and let's begin. This video is part of our Boho Beautiful program, 14 Days of Free Yoga. You can sign up today for the two-week course consisting of 28 yoga and meditation videos by heading to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga. Whether you are a beginner or restarting your journey again, or if you're just looking to take your practice to new levels, this program was designed to provide all the tools and structure you need. Go to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and begin your journey today. With that said, let's get back to our practice, grab your mat, and let's begin. All right, friends, so we're gonna get started today seated at the back of our mat. So come on over with your knees and your feet together. We're going to go ahead and take your arms and place them behind your back, interlacing your fingers. And I'd like you to simply extend through the elbows and open up your heart and close your eyes. And just feeling this opening sensation through your chest, opening our heart, our chest, our heart center up towards the sky, letting go of any tension, any resistance, any constrictions in this area of the body. Take a deep breath in. On your exhalation, you're going to just give yourself a moment to release the chest down towards the knees, reaching both of your fingers up towards the sky so you're feeling that nice stretch through your shoulders. Good. Just take a deep breath in. On your next exhalation, slowly round up vertebra by vertebra, coming up to your knees, dropping the hands, looking up. Inhale. Exhale, sit back down, release chest towards your knees. And again, inhale, lift up. Open up your body, look up. Exhale, sit back down and release. Great, feel that nice stretch through the shoulders here. Keep reaching those arms up as high as you can. And then release your fingers, take your arms forward, Reaching into your child's pose, inhale. Exhale, rounding through, coming up into all fours position. Arch the back, look up, drop the belly, lift your feet, flex your feet, tuck your toes, press your way up into your downward facing dog. Now take your time here, just feel it out. See how your body is feeling. Let's add movement to our downward dog, always remember to listen to what your body needs. Sometimes the body needs a lot of movement, sometimes the body needs stillness. So whatever feels good for you in this moment, come to that. Then allow the heels to just relax downward, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Elbows pointed down, take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, go a little deeper. On your next breath, you're going to lift your right foot off the mat and then just place the foot behind the left heel. So what you actually want to try and do is place the big toe and the next middle toe right on the outsides of your left heel. So kind of like the heel in the middle of your toes. So just keep that foot exactly where it is. Continue to press a little bit deeper so you're really feeling this deeper sensation through your left side. Take a deep breath in. On your next exhalation, you're gonna lift that left heel, keep the foot exactly where it is, transfer into your plank, keeping that foot right on top. 
Slowly from here, push it back, press the heel down and release. And again, inhale, round vertebra by vertebra, make it nice and fluid. Exhale, push it back for two. Inhale, come through. Exhale, push it back. And one more time, inhale, come through. Now exhale, just point the right toe and then either place it down on the ground or keep it lifted and take a Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, opening up into upward facing dog. Exhale, push it back, releasing downward facing dog. Inhale, from this position, your right leg is gonna reach back up towards the ceiling as high as you can take it today. Don't worry, where it goes, just lift it up. Bend that right knee. Exhale, step your right foot to the front of your mat between your two hands. Drop your back knee to the floor. Wrap those arms behind your back, engaging, extending through the elbows as you open up your body. Holding this low lunge variation as you open. Let's take a deep breath in. Really fill that heart with so much oxygen. Fill your belly with so much oxygen. On your exhalation, you're gonna lift the back knee and drop the heart towards the knee as your arms reach up to the sky. Let's add movement and flow to this variation. Inhale, bring the knee down, open up the heart, look up. Exhale, lift the knee, drop the chest. Inhale, drop the knee, look up, low lunge. Exhale, lift up, release. Starting to really feel the engagement in the lower body. One more time. Drop the knee, look up. Exhale, lift up, arms up, hold it here. Breathing for three, two, and one. Release the hands. Drop the hands to the mat. Inhale. Exhale, press and extend that right leg as much as you can. Really feeling that stretch through that right hamstring. Beautiful. Just take another inhale. Exhale, bend that front knee. Step and bring that right leg back into plank position. Extend Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push it back and release it. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take a breath. Close your eyes and again, just reconnect with your energy, with your heart, with your intention everything that's brought you to the mat today connect with it and then take your left leg lift it up slightly and then place the left foot now behind the right heel first we're just holding here feeling that deeper sensation through the right side making sure that your shoulders are square your shoulders are down away from the ears beautiful let's add some movement and flow to this body as you take a deep breath in lift that heel round through into plank position keep that left foot on top exhale push it back for one make this fluid make it wavy so come forward exhale push it back for two inhale round forward hold exhale for three one more time come through and hold Exhale for four. Inhale from here, come forward and hold. Lift that foot off the ground, hold it or land it right over to plank position, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push it back and release it, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up to the sky. Find that stretch, find that breath. Bend the knee, exhale, step between your two hands. Drop that back knee to the floor, wrap those arms behind you as you open up. Inhale, let the hips drop a little bit so you're feeling a really nice release along the frontal psoas of your body, that hip flexor. On your next exhalation, lift the back knee, drop the chest down for one. Let's work with the breath, inhale, drop it down, look up. Exhale, lift the knee, chest down for two. Inhale, open. Exhale, three. One more time. Exhale, 
exhale, bring it down. Get that chest towards your knee. Arms extended, hold it here. Now we're just going to release the hands, bring the hands down onto the mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, extend that front knee, stretch it out. Feel that release through your left hamstring. Just being careful that your hips are staying square. Don't open them out. Inhale deeply. Close your eyes and just reconnect with every sensation that's happening in your body. Reconnect with your mind, the thoughts in your mind. Being the watcher of your thoughts. And with each breath, being present on your mat. Great. Press your hands into the floor. From here, you're just going to swing this leg. Step it right back into plank chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Push it back. Release. Downward facing dog. Well done. Inhale. Look to the top of the mat. Lift your heels. Bend your knees. Hop to the front. Both feet together. Inhale. Halfway lengthen as you lift. Exhale. Bring it all the way down. Forward fold. From this position, take the arms behind your back. Again, interlace the fingers, extending through the elbows, allowing the hands to fall forward, guiding your body deeper into your forward fold. Bending the knees, start to roll up for three, for two, and one. Inhale, open up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees and release. Make this flow with the body of your breath. Inhale, look up. Exhale, let it go. Feel the movement, feel the breath, feel the body working as one. One more time. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, look up, stand up, bring your right knee up towards the chest. Exhale, extend it back into your warrior three. So finding this beautiful balance here. Hips are square, your arms are staying behind your back, elbows are extended, find your balance. Bending that bottom knee, stepping your right leg back, opening into warrior two as you open up the body, release the hands, and then open up to the side. Drop the shoulders away from the ears, find that balance, find that strength. Opening the palms of your hands, and then inhale, peaceful warrior as you bring it back. Exhale, extend its side angle, elbow to your knee as you reach over. Inhale, push it back. Exhale, bring it forward. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale, bring it back. Stretch out the side of your body. Exhale, from here, bring it over. Extend its side angle. You can release the hand all the way down to go a little bit deeper. Really feeling that elongating sensation beautiful now from this position just drop that arm down bend your knee flex your foot you're going to come into what we call a skandasana so coming all the way down to a low lunge keeping your hands in front of you or if you're a little bit more advanced try to keep your right hand down and then take your left arm up towards the sky you want to take it one step further, then you can take a bind. Take your left arm, right arm through the leg and over the leg. Open up into your bind. Hold it here. Your left foot, the leg that's extended, it's flexed. Toes are pointed up to the sky. Deep breath in into the belly. Close your eyes. Anytime you have the opportunity to close the eyes, do it. It's so wonderful to reconnect with that energy inside of us. Inhale. Exhale, let's release the bind if you're in your bind. Bring both hands down, press your way up, and release, opening into your warrior two. Great, now from this position, all we're gonna do is just extend, flex your foot, turning both toes in. Flex the foot, turn both toes out. Coming into your warrior two, right over on the other side. Pull the navel into the spine. Drop that tailbone down. Hold it here. Breathe. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. 
Open up the palms. Let's flow it out as you push it back. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Elbow can come on the knee. Or if you guys want, you can always go deep right into it. Listen to what feels best for you today. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Bring it down. And again, inhale, open up. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. Exhale, going deep. Extended side angle. Extend your arm. You can look up towards that top arm or just look downward towards the bottom foot. Feeling this beautiful sensation through the entire side of your body. Inhale. Exhale from here. Come on up. Bending, ex bending the back knee, extending the front knee, coming into your skandhasana on the other side. Hands grounded and you can just stay here and really focus on getting deep into that inner thigh. A variation two is to take your right arm now and reach it up to the sky. Hold it here. Variation three, take your bind. Left arm around and behind that knee as you open up. Wherever you are, just find what feels good for your body in this moment and breathe. Breathe it out. Breathe out any tension. Breathe out any restrictions in your body, in your mind. And welcome the idea of self-love. Loving your body for exactly what it is, for the exact level it is at right now in your practice. Loving the journey and the experience of growth, your own practice, your own evolution. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, let's release. Bring it forward. Come on up. Releasing back into that warrior two. And then we're going to extend that front knee, pivot the toes in, then face towards the front of your mat. Take your arms behind your back, and we're just going to step forward back into top of your mat with your feet together, and you're just going to shift your weight to your right foot coming into warrior three on the other side. So we're just reversing the movement. So we started a warrior th with a warrior three before we did the whole sequence. Now we end with it. Hold it here, shoulders are square. And then bring it up, bring that left knee up towards your chest. And drop it down, hands release, inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, dive it all the way down. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back if you can into your plank position, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, push it back and release. Downward facing dog. Well done. Just hold it here. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop down to your knees. And one more heart opening posture that we're going to do is called your camel pose. So come on up to your knees. I'll show you two variations here. Variation one is simply place your hands on your sacrum, on your lower back. Press the hips forward, shoulders back, and just open up your heart again. You're opening the heart up to the sky. Variation two is to go deeper. Place both hands onto your heels. Push the pelvis and open as you throw your head back. Hold and breathe. Feel that sensation opening through the frontal area of your body. Open your heart. Open your heart to love, to accepting love, so then you can give more of it back. Open your heart to kindness and compassion and the beauty of this world. Open your heart to seeing the beauty that is around you every single day. Open your heart as you take one more inhale. Exhale, we're going to release. To come out of camel, you're going to bring both hands first onto your sacrum. Then bring yourself back to a neutral position. Sit back onto your heels. Just give yourself a second to take a breath to allow the spine to neutralize. Exhale, bring your knees. Release forward, counter pose into our child's pose. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, we're just going to spring forward right into upward facing dog. So transition yourself, drop the hips, extend the knees open. 
exhale, press back and release, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat, crossing your feet, coming into a seated position on your mat. And let's just close off our practice today with either coming down into a shavasana or you can just come into a seated position on your mat. If you're in a shavasana, I recommend you guys to stay in it much longer. However, if you're short on time and you need to close off your practice now, join me in a seated position. So wherever you are, let us bring your hands to our heart. Just take a deep breath in and allow the entire body to relax. Whether you're seated or lying down, just feel the ground underneath you and feel the heaviness of your body on the ground. With each exhalation, just begin to feel your body melting away. And let the body relax to the beat of your own heart. As your heart beats with each beat, let it relax a little further, a little further, a little further. Relax your face, your shoulders, your chest, your glutes. Just let it go. And with your beautiful awareness, just listen to your own heart and open yourself up to accepting the intuition and the messages that come through your heart. To listen, to become more aware and in tune with the whispers of the heart. Whenever we feel lost on our journeys, know that this whisper will always bring us home. So connect to it. And feel this radiant love beating through your heart. And through this connection to this energy, may we consciously radiate this love and kindness outward, out of our hearts into the world. To your friends and family, to your communities, to your neighbors, to the animals, and to our Mother Earth. May every breath and every action always be done with the intention of love and kindness. Just allow yourself to be in this energy for as long as you like. I encourage you to stay longer if you can. However, if you like to come out, just bring the palms of your hands together and over to your heart and bow down to your own heart. Thank yourself for your beautiful practice today, for moving, for flowing, for breathing, and for doing something for your own well-being. Thank you so much for joining me. Congratulations on completing day nine, and I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste. If you've enjoyed this class and want to participate in more classes like this as part of our new program, Boho Beautiful 14 Days of Free Yoga, head over to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and sign up at absolutely no cost to you. Thanks again. Namaste.